Hey guys, uh, welcome to the channel. I'm out with Josh Angelus. Uh, we're guys. testing out the new uh, Hollow Sun optics. Um, you yeah, want to explain what we got? Out. We're going to take a look at the EPS carry today. I think you got it on your uh, Smith & Wesson here. Yeah, it's my Shield Plus. It's going to be my new carry gun for this year. Um, I just got it cut for a 507K cut. Um, same footprint as the 407 507. And I've got the stock sights on there. These are high-vis fibers. Yeah, one of the things I really like about the carry, as you can see, is how low you can actually get those uh, those stock sights on there. So you, you can still use those stock ones without having to do any suppressor work or anything like that. So it just really reduces that deck height uh, for the other uh, options on the market right now. We're really excited about this one because it's just got all the features anybody of our end users is going to want. It's got the solar for the MRS models, the multi-reticle system that a lot of people like with that 2 MOA dot. You have the 32 MOA ring if you want. You can swap those on and off depending. Uh, and yeah, we're going to offer this in quite a few different models as well too. So if you don't want to have the MRS, you can just get a 2 MOA dot. If you want a 6 MOA dot, you'll have that option. Option. And then obviously we always do red and green color options for anybody who has a preference. So uh, personally for me, I think I'm probably going to, I'm still testing out that six MOA green. I don't know if it's like where I want it to be quite yet, but yeah. I definitely have been like For a carry it. option, I'm thinking either maybe the six because it's big. Yeah. You know, usually it's going to be up close. But then I also like the multi-reticle because I'm starting off, I've never had a red dot on a pistol before. So I think having maybe the 32 MOA yeah. and then the two in the middle. So I have options or when I'm learning to draw, I can pick up the dot right away. Right, you get that, that circle just to kind of help pick it up a little bit faster. Yeah, that's one of the nice benefits. And then once you get used to it, you can tear it off. Or and then I have on. a two and then I can go fine for a distance or whatever. Exactly, yep. And it just offers all that in an enclosed package now. So no worry about any dust, debris or belly button lint getting in the emitters. Mm -hmm, and for so, sure. Just really kind of checking as many boxes for our end users as we can. It's like super low height and these are my stock sights and I actually changed out the fibers for black so it's not too distracting. I might even black out the front. Not sure. Yeah, I think I probably would go with the black out front nowadays. I think with the dots thing, you know, we're kind of getting like conflicting dots. You know, you got the green dot and a red dot now. So like a cluttered me, side I, picture. Yeah, I kind of prefer a blacked out front and a blacked out rear nowadays. Uh, just kind of like, I, I'm just so used to shooting with the dot. It's just kind of a solved system for me. I've seen some pistols now where dudes aren't even running iron sights on there and they're just using the dots. So. Especially with the solar. I mean, it's it's another fail safe we'll right back up in there yeah and if for some reason you do forget to put your battery tray in or something like you're saying you can still run it that day up and you don't have to worry about it so it's like, you know, okay. does it have this. auto adjustment uh yeah this will have the auto adjust on the solar model so the two moa and the six moa were just going to be the standard model. So, but yep, auto adjust on the box and then you have the ability to turn that on and off with the manual modes. One change that we did do for our pistol optics this year is we've done uh, eight brightness settings and four night vision settings. So if you're starting to do more night vision stuff, you'll have an additional couple of settings to play around with in that range. But we're really excited about this. It's taken a little bit of time to get it on the market, but now that we're finally getting them out there, I think everyone's going to be really, really, really happy with them. So can't wait for it. Yeah, definitely can't wait to try it. So I'm going to try it first time out. Uh, Hopefully I get two of them soon. I want to get the full size for my Glock and then I want to get one of these carry ones for my Shield Plus. Yeah, I guess that is a point to clarify. We do have the shield, the EPS carry and then we're going to have the EPS for the full size pistols. And so just a, basically the big brother to this guy make everything just a little bit bigger for those full size. But uh, yeah, man, let's get some okay. rounds there. All right, so I got two mags. I got 13 round mags. Is it even zero? Do you know? Uh, I don't know if it's zeroed right now on that one. It's probably going to be factory zeroed, but factory's like what, 25? 25. Roughly? Yeah, roughly. Okay, so uh, I think we're at like uh, 10. Going hot. Eyes and ears. Okay, so we got the red. Mag. Nice. It's really easy to pick up. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera how it looks, but it just pretty much covers the whole A zone. Really easy to pick up. Now I can come over the top and rack this way if I need to. Pretty good ledge. All right, thanks for checking out the uh, All Sun EPS carry. Um, hopefully, I get to review this soon, and I'll show you the full size. All right, thank you, thank you, Josh. Yep.